as usual. So it's around 2 p.m. Eastern time in Montreal. Today I had a request from Brenda in the Wiremakers Club to find some designs for swans. So I did, as always, I did my sketches ahead of time and we are going to troubleshoot some ideas for some wire swans. So without further ado, I'm going to flip my screen, bring you over to the table and uh, you are going to watch me make stuff. So excuse me while I roll around like this and then I bring the camera down and let me get this in place. And we're going to make sure that I'm centered on the screen. So I'm going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see. Sorry if you guys got a little dizzy when I did that. So I'm just going to pull up the video so I can see it. I go to the live streams. There's a live stream section now. And we are going to see what's going on. So Tree Sap Girl, that's Amber for you guys who don't know. Hi, Amber. She's uh, the moderator, one of the moderators on my channel. Uh, always great to see you. I know you have to leave early, Amber, so it's not a problem at all. I'm just going to uh, refresh my screen. Hi, Josefina. Hi, Mirta. How are you? Let's just get the screen refreshed so I can see what you guys see on my table. Now, I do have a lot of light coming in the window. So I'm going to just close the one of the curtains because now I'm finding I have some backlight. So it's a little bit hard for me to see well, but we're going to figure this out. So here we go. Here we have the swans that we're going to be working on. I have my tools. Hi, Karen. How are you? So there's our tools. And like I said, I always do these drawings ahead of time. I find some clip art on Canva and then I adapt them in a way that we can do them out of wire. This was actually an origami swan. I like that idea. I've done origami things out of wire before too. So I'm going to get my, uh, oh, that's Spanish. Cines. I don't know how to pronounce that, but in French it's a cine. So it's very similar. I'm going to get my beads if I need any. I don't know if I'm going to need any beads. I'm going to get my wires. I'm a little limited in wires. A beadle on is going to be sending me some more wires. I find the camera's a little low today, but maybe that's better because you'll be able to see my hands better. I just have to stay on screen. So let's get started. I'd like to start with some simple ones. So I'm going to just take some 20 gauge wire. Here's some nice rose gold. And I'm going to move these over to the side. This one I added some little flowers on there. I thought that was really cute too. And then this one I definitely wanted to do. It looks like a lotus flower. So let's just go ahead and make some stuff. And Spanish word of the day. Awesome. There we go. So I am going to grab some wire. Uh, not quite sure how much we're going to need. We're going to figure it out. Uh, I don't know if the video got a little buffery there. I hope it's okay on your, your guys end. So we're going to see. And now, of course, it's darker out. The sun comes and goes. It's Hopefully, it's light enough, too. So let's start with something simple. I mean, both of these are quite simple. Uh, maybe this one's really pretty. Why don't we start with that one? Let me just see what it does. Might be interesting. We can try that one. We could try a few of them. So these would be good for earrings, too, the simpler ones. So let's get some wire. Maybe I should measure it just to be sure so you guys have an idea of how much wire to do. So let's just start with more than we think we need. If we start with about maybe 15 inches, maybe even more. How about 16? I'm not sure how much we're going to need. We're going to try 16. And maybe what I'll do is jot that down. So I have to be more vigilant about telling you guys what, how much wire to use because sometimes... It's very hard to know, and if you're using a more expensive wire, you don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to put 16 inches so we know, and several specimens. Ooh, okay, so now we are going to imagine we're stopping, starting at the top because we want to finish up there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll start that way and bring this one around and you can either freeform it or you can follow the template. The templates are always in 
my uh, Etsy DIY shop 24 hours after the live stream. So even sometimes sooner than that, because they're prepped, I just have to get the photos of the pieces uh, on, the, on the PDF. Because when you get the PDF, you get all of these, plus color photos and a list of materials and a list of resources on how to get the materials and stuff too. So, and those PDFs for the live streams are only a dollar and they help support my channel. So I super appreciate that, all of your guys' support. So now we're gonna bring this one down here, see if we bent that enough. I think we did. And we're just going to keep going around and around and around. And then this one, kind of like the idea, sometimes you could put the eye on top, but this one I have, I've drawn the eye underneath. So let's see how well that works. If we go to about here, and then what if we just do like a little kind of loop thing here? I like that idea, it's very more simple. I don't know how, how well it works. We're gonna try it and see. Sometimes it's hard to know, you know, how to do the details. I think it has to be maybe more, a little bit more pushed up so it doesn't look like it's under, it doesn't look like it's under the, the chin of the, or the beak. So maybe if we just kind of go like that and then back down. I'm gonna troubleshoot this a little bit. So it look, looks a little wonky, but let's get to see what it's gonna do. Oh well, we'll figure it out after I think. So then we're gonna take this one and bring this one around. As always, you can take aspects of these designs and make them your own if you have some other ideas on how to do them. So now this wire is quite soft, the 20 gauge. Maybe I'll do one in 18 as well. So we're just gonna bring this one around here and then right around here. Yeah, super soft, but that's okay. It's the rose gold of the artistic wire. Maybe would have been better to do 18, but that's okay. And then we're gonna bend this on an angle, down, straight down, and then curve it as well here. And then here, we're gonna bring this one down here Hold that in place and bring it around. So bring that one right around. And then we're going to do our wings here. So bend this one straight down, give it a good little push. <coughs> so it makes a nice, like sharp bend here. And then down here. And then we're gonna hold it where you want the other bend and bring this Ah, Randy's here. Hi, Randy and Connie. Nice. Hi, guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, they say. So there we go. I don't know who invented that expression, but it's a thing. So now we're going to take this one and bring that one down over here. And bring this one around here. And one more little loopy. I like the way these loop, little loopies work. They're kind of cool. This gives it a little bit of interest here. And again, like that. So now we're gonna bend it with our flat pliers again. Right down okay. here and hold it in place. Looks like there's another like little loop here. Bring it around, bring it down, bring it down, and then another little loop here, keeping it loose, just bringing it around here. And then this one kind of forms the neck, so we're gonna bring it around up here again. So those are just its little loopy loops around here, and then bring this one up here. Oh, wow, we have just enough wire, like that's unusual. So we're gonna bring that one around here and we're gonna remove this and of a Michigan near Saguenay, Lake Huron, nice. We're gonna bring this one down here and around here. So now, oh, it looks really cute, I like this. We're gonna bring this one up and then up here Make sure it's positioned well. 
think that's good. And then to, if you want to help the bend a little bit so you don't distort it, just get your round pliers in there and then bring it around. It just, oops, just starts it out a little bit. So we're going to take that one on here, bring it on here. It sure helps having these sketches. When I used to do these live streams, I didn't always do the sketches first. And I found I spent a long time trying, just trying to decide what to make and how to make it. But at least this way with the sketches, even though I haven't done a prototype, I have the, I have the diagram ready to go. So then it's much easier to do and I don't waste your guys' time. So now we're going to take this. Of course, there's always like little glitches and stuff like that. But that's super cute. And then you could either put a bead on top or not. I don't know if I have any cute little beads that might go on there. Here's a little, just a little crystally bead. It's not super necessary though. I don't know if it needs a bead. Let me just see if I have a smaller bead because I wouldn't want to put a super big bead on there. This one's more like a amber bead, so it's not quite the same rose gold color, but it's quite cute. It's, oh, that one almost looks like a crown. So we could do that one. We're going to bend that over even though the colors may be a wee bit off. It's all right, so we're gonna do that. And yeah, cause I did have draw, I drew a design that had a little crown. So I like that idea. It looks a little bit like a crown, which is cool. So now we're gonna do this. Yeah, there we go. So Randy, a tree sap girl, if you don't already know is Amber and Amber's one of the moderators on my channel. So I know it takes a while to get to know people's names and stuff, but uh, with time it comes. And I've written down some of the names too to keep it uh, to keep it in mind. Okay, so there is our first swan. Looks good. I don't mind the way the eye looks. I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to grab a little sip of water. Mm -hmm. And now this one's cool too. I might just do that one with an 18 gauge. And I also want to do that one. Actually, that one for sure, I think I do with an 18 gauge. So let's do that one. Uh, I do want a thicker wire though. So maybe the gold. I have some, that's not, that's 18. Okay, let's try this gold here. Although this one is it's still a little soft, but it's okay. So let's do that one. So to imagine how much we need, this is about, uh, so three, six, nine, twelve. 12 at least 15. So let's do another, another like, let's start again with 16 to be sure. So we're gonna start with about 16 gauge. And this was pretty good. The first one had 16 inches and it was good. So let's try 16. And yeah, it's very hard to remember everybody's names. That's for sure. And so we're just going to, just gonna smooth that out like that. And now, let us do this little guy. Uh, leave enough for the head because we're going to do like a little twirly whirly there. And now I am going to follow the pattern. So let's just bring this one around here. Hopefully I'll have enough wire. We're going to try. So we're going to bring that one around and up. So now move this. That was quick. Yes. Yeah. It really helps having the patterns already drawn and then it just saves, saves, saves us all a lot of time. And we're going to bring this one here. I want that to be a little bit more pointy and here and, and Amber, I'll keep an eye on the time. I know you have to leave at like quarter to three, so that's no problem. So we're going to do this. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually bend this to the back. On a sharp angle. I'm, a, I'm actually quite worried I'm going to run out of wire. We're going to see. So we're going to bend that to the back on a sharp angle and then hold that and it looks like we curve it out and in. Looks like, looks like a wing. So that's a nice shape. So we're going to bring that one here. And then it comes to the next one. Looks like we come to the, the next one. So we're going to come here, around here, and then curve it around. You could use a round form to curve it too, although this is pretty, it's pretty soft wire, so it, it goes pretty good. So we're gonna do that. Hold it and curve it around again to here, and then bend it to the back again. So bend it to the back again. If I run out of wire, 
I might start over, which would be a bit of a waste of time, but I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna run out of wire, so we're gonna, or I could just do three wings. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of wire. And we're gonna bring this one here and around here and around this one. Bring it around here to this one and back. Yeah, this looks like a looks like a lotus flower. I like it. Around here and oh, where's all those? Oh man, look how close we are. Can I can I just make it smaller? Maybe we're gonna see. Okay, so we're gonna bring it here, and then from here we do need a bit of we do need a bit here. So I think it's we're we're gonna maybe run out of wire, but let's try if we just make it shorter. But even that, it's oh. Uh, anyways, that's the idea. You see, so. We have to, I think we have to start like further from the end. So we're going to bring it here. I might just finish it after, but we're going to bring it around here and around here. We'll just finish the head around here. Oops, and around here, curve it. And if you need help curving it, you can use a round form. Like remember this ring cone thing, I use that a lot for the round forms, or you can use a marker or something. So we're gonna bring that one around here and bring it down a little bit. So probably if I had started a little closer to the end, how many inches was that from the end? One and a half, two, maybe four inches or something. Okay, so we're gonna bring that one around, bring it right around here and then bend that at a little bit of an angle. Well, maybe we couldn't have started much further from the end. Bring it up, up. And then if we do want that sharp bend, again, you can bend it to the back here. Okay, we could bend it to the back, which is cute. Looks a little, looks a little duck-like, but that's okay. So now we're going to curve it around yeah, we'll definitely have to cut it longer if we're going to do this again. And then if you want to do the spiral, we just take this, see how it's going to look. I mean, at least we'll see if we want to redo this because it might not look quite how we wanted it to look. We're going to take that and bring it around. And take this one and bring it around. So we'll put up a little bit of an end there. And then I'll clip that flush. There we go. So now we're gonna push that down. So actually I like the spiral. Uh, didn't quite turn up. Yeah, you can just curve it up a little bit. That looks good. And so the idea would be, you know, like that. This one should have been a little longer. And then we would have just curved this around. And you can maybe attach them all together there. So they're going to, um, so they won't come apart. So you could actually twist the wire around there to hold it in place. So I won't, you know, make you guys sit through another one of that, but that's the idea. So that looks super cool. I'll, I'll fix that up after and and just do it, like I said, do a little twist there to hold these together. In fact, I can just show you quickly just to see, you know, how they would hold together. I'll just use a separate wire to be sure. But yeah, this one would have had to be a little longer. And then you can take this wire, bring it over here. And if you catch all of those wires together and twist it around, say this is the same wire, we could twist it through a couple of times even, and it will hold it in place. So that's an idea. I mean, you could even do it with a separate wire if you want. I just did run out of wire there. So that's the idea. Oh, I actually like it with the thinner wire. So, uh, but then what do you do with this end? You'd have to just have it curve around. 
but I mean, that looks super good. So yeah, either clip the end and um, add a separate little wire or use the 18 gauge wire to twist around. So there's that. So that looks cute. I actually like that little separate wire. And there's our little swan if the head's too big. If this part's little, if the spiral's too big, we can bring that in a little bit, maybe. Yeah, and bring it up, maybe. Uh, get your, how do I get my hand in there? Whew, it's awkward. There, oh, that looks better. Sometimes it's just a little, a little tweak that looks a little more delicate. I pushed it in a little bit. So that's super nice. So now we have two swans done. And I want to try to do a simple one there. So let's do another one. I will use, uh, again, maybe the, I could use the rose gold for that one. We're going to see. And nice feathers. Hi, Sharon. There, gorgeous. Thank you, Connie. So now for this guy, we probably need a little less. So let's just clip this end. Yeah, you guys are gonna have lots of possibilities for designs for swans. I am gonna cut this one. It doesn't have to be 15, I don't think, although I ran out of wire. So this one, let's write a note to write it, to make it 18 inches to be sure, okay? And then now we're gonna cut a piece of 15 inch. Again, we're gonna write it down so we know. Uh-huh. Now, pencil. It's a girl. Where did I get this pencil? Good grief. I don't know where I got this pencil. So now, um, 15 inches. And let me take a sip of water. Uh-huh. And, ah, oh, Clarice! Clarice, Clarice, Clarice! How are you? I haven't seen you in a dog's age. Thank you so much for hopping on. Clarice just, uh, that's I, Clara. It is Clarice, one of the moderators on the YouTube channel and one of the moderators in the Wiremakers Club. And she's just uh, shared the link for the Wiremakers Club. Oh, so happy to see you. It's been so long. So now let us go ahead and do this guy. And then for this one, I'm actually gonna do a little eye at the, at the top here. So let's start with that. Let's start with that. So to do that, we're just gonna take the round pliers, start forming the whoopsies eye. I just started with the round pliers. And then if you want the eye to be smaller, just tug it around. Okay, just tug it around to make that loop smaller because there's no way you're going to get little ends of pliers to go that small. So we're going to do it that way and just push it in. This thing keeps wobbling back and forth, but there we go. Okay, so now I'm still digesting my lunch. Uh, I don't, you guys, a lot of you know I eat salad for lunch. I have salad that has cabbage, lettuce, broccoli, carrots, cucumbers, and peppers and celery. Did I say celery? And it's very good, but it's also, um, it's pretty heavy duty. It's a little hard to digest, but it's, um, it's delicious and it's so healthy. So now, and Ruth, awesome Ruth. Oh, wow. People that haven't been on in a while. Nice to see you, Ruth. Ruth, I always see your comments and, uh, uh don't often see you live. So it's very nice that you're on, uh, on live today. Perfect. So now let us bring this one out a bit. I'm going to open this up. This one's very stylized. The rose gold seems to be a little stiffer too, so it should hold its shape. So we're going to bring this one around here, around here. And da, 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 da. this away, this away. And then around. So now we could get the round form to form the front. Let's just check if it's a good size. Uh, a little more maybe, a little bit more around here. This one I want to try to add some flowers. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to see there. And Sabrina! Wow, we're having a party, everybody. Hey, Sabrina, nice to see you. A lot of long-time viewers uh, hopping on today. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. So now we're going to take this and 
bring this one to the front. Oopsies. And hold this and bring it up like that. There we go. And we're gonna loop it around for this wing. So bring this one around and around and around. And I hope I have enough wire. There we go, around here. Perfect. We might have to round this out a little bit more. We can use this and round it out a little bit more, which should be all right. Okay, so up there. There we go. Perfect. Around here and to about here. So we're gonna take this one and then we're gonna bend this one, I guess to the back again. We're gonna bend that one to the back and yay. Happy that you caught me live too. There we go. What time is it in your parts, uh, Ruth? I keep forgetting everybody's time zones. I'm going to take this one here and hold this one and then curve it around. So let's see if that's in a good place. Bring that one around here. And then we're going to bend that up for the neck. Take this here. Yeah, swans have got such a lovely um, shape to them. Yeah, that's the key to making a nice swan is to get the shape nice. So we've got that so far. We're gonna bring this one over here. If the neck is too narrow, you could probably always like adjust some of the other bends. So if you wanna push it that way, we can just like curve that one out a little bit more and push it away. So there's always little adjustments that you can do. And then this one goes a little bit more that way a bit, let's just see, we'll go that way. And then we do wanna curve this up and around to form the top of the head. So that comes around, around like that to form the top of the head. And then we're gonna bend this one straight up, straight up here. And then we're gonna bend this guy around to curve it. So the length is pretty good. We could have even got away with 14 inches if we wanted to, but always better to have too much than too little. So the neck maybe could have been a little longer too. You could probably adjust the neck a little bit. Let's see if we open it up a little bit more. And then we just bring this one down a little more maybe. Maybe we want the neck a little longer. So let's see if we can do that. We're just gonna bring that one down a little bit further. And then bring it up, just to make the neck a little bit longer. Okay, because swans have a very long neck. Ooh, now he looks a little funny, but we're just gonna try to fix that shape a little bit. So yeah, so the, the neck is definitely better when it's a little bit longer, but we also wanna make a nice curve right here. I see it's a little stiff. So let's try to curve it out a little bit more with our finger and like that. So that will look a little bit better here. And we're just watching the time here. So Amber, if you have to go anytime, really, it's not a problem whatsoever and we're going to bring this one around curve it around a little bit it's hard to get a nice curve you know it really depends on your wire but that looks pretty good and then once it's up at the top she I think it's better than my sketch uh, but I also don't want this part to be too big so we're just going to curve that one around here around there and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we're gonna take this, take the end and bend it around. So that's what we have. I can stay 10 more minutes, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take this one around, bend that here and clip that end. And 
pinch that in a little bit. And I also like the idea of doing like a little crown on it, but that would be that one there. I don't know if I have any beads that are that are crown like I have this type of one, which is that looks more like a hat. I don't really like that one. Or a bead cap. I guess I could make a bead cap or something and put it on. Let me see what other beads I have. This one doesn't really look like a a crown either. That one just looks like a bead. Oh, it's closer though. It's definitely closer. Um, I also have this one that looks maybe also looks a bit like a hat. Let me just see. I have metal beads. I'm going to see if there are any that are suitable. Maybe not, but I like showing you guys every now and then my beads. These ones are a bunch of old beads that I had. My friend used to sell jewelry on the streets of Montreal and every summer she would travel, or winter she would travel and she'd leave me her funky beads. So I sometimes have some treasures in here. Let's see what I got. These are kind of nice, slightly uh, crown-like. So let's take one of those ones off. These are like little weird rings. I don't know what those are. Let's look at those. And oh, I have butterflies, little metal butterflies. Those are cute. I have these that are bigger, but also look like hats. So maybe not those. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, this is like a bead cap thing. I don't think that would work, but it's, I like it. It's cute. Uh, these are just little beads. And so we have lots of cool stuff in here. I think that's probably good. Oh, I have these two. These are cute little kitty beads. Amber, do you have any of these kitty beads? I don't remember if I ever sent you these little kitty beads. The little cat face. They're so cute. So cute, those beads. Okay, I'm going to put those out. So now, ouch, I just pinched my finger. That wasn't smart. And I'm going to put these at the side. And uh, just going to take the doggo to the groomer. You can stay. Yay, Josh. Everybody say yay, Josh. Woo, woo, woo. Awesome. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Okay, so now let's see about this hat situation. So here's the hat. We don't want a hat. We want a crown. That one's not too bad, too. It's sort of crown-like. I might not end up using any of these. And then there's that one, but that one looks very strange. So it's kind of interesting. Or I wonder if I can make my own crown type thing with a contrasting wire. This is 18 gauge though. I don't think the 18 would work uh, so well. How would I make a crown? That would be, I like that idea of doing a little crown, but let me get some other, wire just to see wouldn't that be cute a little crown uh head pin thing type thing not head pin but like a little crown bead type of thing i have 22 gauge wire we're getting off track here yay josh yay <laughs> awesome so now Here's some wire. And how in the world am I going to do a little crown? I am just going to play around with this. Because there's that one. This one's going to be a little small. I, I don't think I'm going to go anywhere with this. I'm just going to play with it for a sec to see. So Because what if you... It's cute though. Like a little... A little crown would be super cute, but maybe we'd have to do a separate wire or something. Anyways, I'm gonna put that at the side for now. We're gonna figure that out. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna do a loop and we're going to do a, we're going to do a, some flowers if we can. So I'm gonna, to, to do a, like a bale type loop, I'm gonna just bend this actually perpendicular here. And hi, Ellen, how 
are you? I'm gonna bring, make a little double veil thing, a little double loop just to give it some interest here. So we've got, and then that can go right on, that can go right on a necklace or something. I'm just playing around here. I like to vary it up a little bit. So why don't we hold this, bring this one around, and then we'll just give it a clip. Okay, so there's options, always options. Perfect. So here is our beautiful, beautiful swan, quite simple. And this one's similar to the one with the, um, that looks like the lotus <coughs> flower, excuse me. <clears throat> that one's interesting. So if you wanted to do little flowers, I do have some colored wires. I just saw uh, some clip art like this and I thought it was so cute with the flowers. So I thought, well, why don't I just try it? Here's these. And we'll see how it looks. Are these 24? These are 24. And if it doesn't look good, well, we won't use it. But kind of like the flowers in the jungle sun catcher. And let's see what we can do with that. So if we just take some of the wire, 24 gauge wire, and <clears throat> I got a dry throat. That's strange. Uh, so now, clean, completed a unique bracelet. Ooh, very nice. That's awesome. Bracelets are fun. So now we're just going to do some little flowers. And what I might do is just start this. And if it's looking good, I might finish it and then post a picture in the community section. Because I did like the idea of doing flowers, but I wasn't super sure if I was going to do it or not. So if we got this and then this one, we're going to, maybe we could just bend this one back. We don't even have to attach these, I don't think, do we? Maybe not. And then we can just, maybe we'll do it like this. We're gonna bring it up here and bring this one around. So I'm gonna, just bring this one around and then I should actually gonna bend this to the back. I don't know if that's gonna work. And then we just wanna do a little spiral on this to kind of fill in the area a little bit. Cause it's the wire, the trouble with the wire, it's, you know, it's thin. So it doesn't super like fill in the space type of thing but it's interesting. So if we did a bunch of like little flowers on there, it could be super cute. You know, I'm not going to do it right now, but that's an idea. You can add some flowers and some little, like I had drawn out like a little bouquet. So you can add flowers and little leaves and things like that. And it might be really interesting, but I think for the sake of the live stream, that's going to take me a lot of time. So I won't do that now, but that's something you can try. And we are going to put that one at the side and then let's do another one. We have time. Uh, this one's so cute. I don't know how easy that one would be do, to do, but why don't we try that one? I like that idea. Let's try that guy. Let's use some 20 gauge wire. What do I got in the way of 20? I don't have, a, oh here, we have gold 20. Let's try the gold 20. And, okay. At least five scrap boxes. Oh yeah, scrap boxes. Oh yeah. I have so many bags of random wires that I'll probably never look at. So now, how long did I cut this wire? Let's figure this out. So this is 12, 24. I don't think we're gonna need that much wire. I think 24 is plenty. Famous last words. So we're gonna take this one and it's got a little loop at the bottom. So let's just fold it in half, find the halfway point, give it a good little bend, like a good little bend, maybe even like a sharper bend. And then we're going to bend this. Well, that wasn't a very sharp bend. Maybe it has to be a sharper bend. Yeah, we're gonna do that and bring it out there. So that's the idea to do that loop at the bottom. And this kind of reminds me of the Mimi heart a little bit. And we're gonna bring that one up here and then bring this one up this way. Up 
and over again up and over now what i'm wondering is there a way to do this you know how we do it when we have the two ends together and then we do the mirror image it might not be easy to do that let me just see because we want them to go towards each other so this would go that way i'm just trying something i'm just thinking out loud so if we do this one that way and this one that way, so we want to get them even, right? So what if we, let's see if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Might get really wonky, but I'm just going to try. So we're going to bring this one around. Sometimes, you know, you think in your head things are going to work and then they don't work in the least. I, that happened to me. I made my mom a nightgown. Okay, I sewed her a nightgown. I don't do a lot of sewing. But I, I made her a nightgown. So you know those, if anybody sews, they have like a yoke, which is the sort of panel that goes on the chest. And so I sewed the yoke, but I wanted to line it. So I sewed it, you know, the, to the front, the inside and the outside together. And then I realized after I'd sewn them, it's like, how am I going to get it right side out? And of course, it didn't work. It didn't make any logical sense whatsoever. So I had to rip out a bunch of seams and um, sew it together by hand. So, and, um, and then I didn't know what to put on the front of the nightgown for my mom. She's in her 80s and uh, she's been wearing the same nightgown for the past probably 50 years. This old cotton nightgown that's falling apart and she doesn't have the heart to get rid of it. And so finally I said, how, she's never gonna wear a nightgown if I buy her one at the store there's no way and so I said oh, I'm gonna make her a nightgown so then I made her this nightgown with blue um broadcloth fabric and I was like well you know it has to be special for her to wear it or she's not gonna want to wear it so I got some bunny fabric and put transfer interfacing facing on the bunny fabric and I put like little bunnies on the yoke of the nightgown and I'm obsessed with rabbits and of course she knows that um I've always been obsessed with rabbits so now she actually wears it because she I, it's special because I made it for her and it bunnies remind her of me so that is um was one way to get my mom to wear a new nightgown so that you know long story short she wears this nightgown now which is really nice so bernice is here hey bernice how are you so now i'm gonna bring this one around and do the necks of the swans i'm really not sure how this is gonna turn out now because we've kind of like gone all over the place with this so we're going to bring this one around and then maybe I'll use one of these as the plan I just took the lazy person's way out because I tried to do them both at once but you can just follow the template they are it is symmetrical so you can just follow it rather than do what I'm doing here and then we're going to take this one down here and then we're going to bend this up for the back here and and then we're going to bring this one around here to here and then start forming our little tail feathers. So in, out, probably should have got my tweezer nose pliers for this. And then that, and then down. Now we have to form the wings, but trouble is we are going to have to open it up I think let me get that little ring cone so this is going to come in here but because we want to see now if they're actually symmetrical if I try to bring this through it's not going to work so let's go ahead and open this up like we have done in the past for the butterflies let's see if it's going to work so we're going to bring this one in oh oh Yay, it worked, people. So there we go. And now we can go ahead and do the wings of the swans. So this is going to go around here. This one's going to go around here. And like I said, rather than do that um, convoluted method of doing both sides at the same time, uh, you can, 
Adorable. Thank you. You can um, ba -dum -ba -dum. do them one by one. You don't have to do it this way. So we're going to bring this one around and okay, this we're going to have to adjust a little bit because this comes around here. We probably should have we probably should have opened it up before we did this part because now it's going to be hard to get it in here. So we're just going to wiggle these around a little bit to get them in place and try to figure out. This one has to come out a little more around here. This wire is quite soft too. Okay, so there's that and that. So let's see if they're more or less in the same place. Pretty good. Okay, and here we can maybe just bring it in a little bit more. I don't know if we need even need those little pointy bends. You could have just made it very smooth, I guess. So down, oopsies, and then out. Okay, so there's one and then over here we're going to do it the same way we were going to go out a little bit more let's just double check it so this one it was a little further out yeah that's okay it's a little further out than than that but probably would have been better just to trace that whole thing from the get-go but that's all right so we're going to go like that so now we have these and then one more we're going to bring that out and then this is going to be the tail sort of sticking out there, sticking out there. And we're going to bring that one up. I wonder if we can bring it back together again, but I don't know if it really matters. So we're going to just hold this one here and up there, and then just bring this one down. Because that's the, that's the tail. So we're going to bring that one down here and then over here to I guess we could bring it back and check it. I just don't want to distort it totally. So maybe what we can do is, if we're not sure, we can just measure it to see. So from there to the tail is about one and a quarter, and then we'll do the same. From there to the tail is going to be about, yeah, so we're not hugely off. There we go. Down there. Okay. So now we have these swans together. See, I didn't figure out what to do with those lines. That's an issue. I didn't really know what to do with that. So we're gonna see. And Karen says, gorgeous, thank you. So let us just take this, go across here. And then we're gonna take this one and fix that a bit and go across here. So there we go. So we have the swans, which are done. And now what do we do to fix these guys up? And just checking the time too. So we have, yeah, we're not too bad. So now uh, we're going to take this and then what do we do with these lines? I mean, we can wind them around each other. We can just attach them there. We could do like little spirals or something. I mean, that might be fun just to do. What would happen if we did that? Just to do something different. So if we took this one and did a spiral, let's see. Mainly because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So we're gonna take this one and do a spiral. So if the, are these in the same position? This has to come in a little bit more. And then this one no, it has to come out a bit. It's too tight. That one and then that one too. So why don't we measure them again to see what these are doing. This looks too long. So that one to there is like one and a half, a little bit more. And this one to there. Yeah, so this one has to come in a little bit more. So we're going to take this one in a little bit more here. And that should be pretty good. So if we got that, yeah, this wire is quite stiff or soft. So we're going to take this one, bring it 
down. And we wanna cut them in the same place. So we're just gonna take this, cut that one there, cut that one there. And we could have also twisted the wires together, I guess. And we're gonna take this. Now this is so optional to make it into a ring. Ooh, that would be nice. If it was like maybe even a little smaller, wouldn't that be a nice ring? That's a great idea, Sharon. I like that idea. I challenge you to make a double swan ring. There we go. So we're gonna take this, bring this wire in, just kind of rotate it in to make the spiral. And then this side to hold the end and take it and bring it in. Just do a little spiral in. Maybe I'll do a tutorial for one of these swans too. If, uh, if there's one particular design or one design we haven't done that you guys like, that we want, that you want me to do a tutorial, I can always do that. So, so we've done this. This is kind of interesting. I don't even know if we have to attach these or not. We're going to see. Um, let's see, just bring that one down. So there's that one and that one. Yeah, I kind of like those spirals. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but they're interesting, that's for sure. And if the wire was a little stiffer, it would hold its shape a little better. But you could maybe get a thin, let me get a thin wire and just attach them to see how that looks. So if I get a piece of 24 gauge wire and my sewing machine is called Angie from my grandma. That's so nice. I never named my sewing machine, which is funny because I do name inanimate objects sometimes. I like that. There we go. I don't use it enough, I think, to give it a name. So maybe that's why. There, we gotta bring that one around here. I'm just gonna attach these and then this one too. Bring this one to the back. So we've just attached it a little bit. I don't know how much wire we need. We can tug it a little bit. So just to hold it in place a little bit more and then I'm gonna clip those ends I don't even know what this could be. I guess it could be a, some kind of ornament or something. Or maybe, oh, you know what this could be, which might be interesting. In fact, maybe we don't need those. Ooh, maybe we don't need it attached. Okay, so this is how it looks attached. I had an idea. Let's remove that because I don't want it to be there. And I mean, we could leave it there, but I have another idea that might work. I'm just gonna remove this. It's a little tricky to remove it once it's already there. Let me get the, get the pliers instead. There we go, whoops. Come on you, off you get. I mean, it doesn't look awful attached, but I'm gonna try something else. So we're gonna take this Remove that and there we go. Okay, um, there, there, so just remove that. The other thing I was thinking is why don't we use these as a stand? We'll push this to the back and push that one to the back or they can maybe put one to the front one to the back and then it'll stand up. I like that idea. So let's just flatten that a little bit. So symmetric, exactly, very symmetrical. Oh, thank you, Myrta. Yeah, I like this one. It's very sweet. And like I said, try not, don't do it with the folding method. It's a little difficult, but if you follow the pattern, you can get it symmetrical because I did draw that pattern symmetrical. So now, yeah, I'm just gonna attach this and it's hard for you to see, but it does stand up. Oh, it's so cute. And so this is it on the side, but it does stand up. So that's super cool. So I think that's good, guys. We did a lot. Um, I might work on some other ones. If there's any in here that you like, what I haven't done, let me know. But I do like that one with the, with the crown. It's cute. 
I like the origami one. We could do that with like sharp lines. That might be interesting for people that like origami. This is fun. It's got like water, looks like water there. And then I could add some flowers to that. So let me know what you think. If I, if you think, Ashley, brilliant. Thank you. Cool idea. Thanks, Bernice. So yeah, and the templates will be in the Etsy DIY shop uh, within the day. Here are the ones we did. You can let me know which one is your favorite. I really like that lotus flower one. It's super cute. And then this one too. So I'm, I don't even think I'm gonna remake this one, but you get the idea. You could fin take the end and wrap it around to finish it off. Uh, just I just didn't cut the wire long enough, but that's all right. So that is the four swans that we made. Nice. Yes, more. Okay, I'll do. I'll definitely do some more. Awesome. So let me flip the screen and say goodbye. I just have to bring this around. There we go. Sorry for the dizziness. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. So guys, thank you so much for hopping on. This is at a weird angle. Let me just fix that. There we go. Perfect. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely see you uh, Saturday new video and um, I might do some more swans. And uh, thank you, Amber and Clarice for always moderating the chat. Thank you, Josh, for letting Amber stay and moderate the chat. That's awesome. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Uh, thank you always for all your support of my tutorials. I super appreciate it. And keep sharing your work in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. Uh, lots of fun stuff going on there. And I'll be doing a live stream with Beetle on at the end of April. So mark your calendars for April 20th. I'm going to be doing some designs for animals with the very big jig. So that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, have a great day. And we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.